Within Windows 10, there are a number of useful commands that can either provide us with information about a network connection or help us to troubleshoot a problem with our home network. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how from a Windows 10 command prompt, we can use the ping command to check the status of a device on our home network. To run a ping, we first need to open a command prompt window. The easiest way to do this is to type cmd into the window search bar and then select command prompt from the list of results. Now at the flashing insertion point, if we type ping, then either enter the IP address or domain name for the network device that we're looking for. When we press enter on our keyboard, our ping test will begin. As you can see, a report is generated displaying the results from our ping test. First, our report displays the domain name or IP address of the device that is being pinged. This is along with the packet size of the pings that we sent to that device. Next, we have the reply from each of our pings along with the reply's packet size. The importance of time is really dependent on what you're doing. So for example, if you have had a time of over 100 milliseconds and you are playing online games, that would be classed as considerable lag. However, 100 milliseconds for a server hosting web pages might be considered acceptable depending on what was hosted on that server. TTL, or time to live, is a value within the internet protocol that tells a network router if a packet of data has been in the network for too long and if it should be discarded. However, we can use TTL to determine the operating system being used by a device that we're pinging. So, for example, the TTL value in our ping test is 64, which is the default TTL value used by Linux. So just from the TTL value, we've determined that the device that we've just pinged is using some sort of variant of Linux. Finally, we have ping statistics, which states how many pings we sent and received, along with the number of packets lost. We then have an approximate round trip that each ping took displayed as a minimum, maximum, and average. If you need to reboot a device on your home network, it can be very useful to know when that device is back online. So if we use the ping command with a T variable, we can send a continual ping to a device and then monitor its status. So at the command prompt, if we type ping space dash T, then the IP address or domain name of the device that we are rebooting. When we press enter on our keyboard, Windows will continually ping that device, allowing us to monitor its status. In order to stop a continual ping, if we hold down the control key on our keyboard and then press the C key, a ping report will be displayed. As the standard ping test consists of only four pings, if we want a more comprehensive snapshot, we can use the n variable to set the number of pings that we want to send to a device. So for example, if we want to send 10 pings, if we type ping space dash n 10, then the IP address or domain name for a device. When we press enter on our keyboard, our computer will send 10 pings and then display a ping report. To gracefully close our command prompt window, if we type exit and then press enter on our keyboard, the command prompt window will close.